modify it, stop, drop it low, but pick it up carefully, work them glutes like you in physical therapy. Assalamualaikum viewers welcome to my channel today in this presentation we will learn about the anatomy of the lower limb so let's start it is uh, basically made up of various stru anatomical structures which involve the bone the muscles and tendons the ligaments the joints and blood vessels and nerves so first of all we will uh, start it from the uh, learning of, uh, about the bones of the lower limb basically the human uh, lower limb contains the three five uh, bones on each side so, and more than 35 joints and 100 plus muscle ligaments and tendons so the first bone is the ox co os coxi which is also called as the hip bone uh, which is this bone okay so this one uh, the red one is ilium and the ischium and the pubis the, the, uh, the hip bone is divided into three main bones so now we will uh, talk about and learn about uh, uh, each part of the of the hip bone so the this is the lateral view so first of all it is the posterior superior iliac spine then posterior inferior iliac spine and this is the greater sciatic notch this is the in ischial spine and this is the inferior sciatic or lesser sciatic notch okay this is the obturator foramen and this is the ischial tuberosity the ischial ramus the ischial pubic ramus the ischial inferior pubic ramus and acetabulum and this is the uh, um, anterior inferior iliac spine and interior superior iliac spine the iliac crest okay now we will learn about the medial view of the hip bone so this is the iliac crest like uh, we uh, study in the, uh, the last slide okay this is the anterior superior iliac spine this is the iliac fossa which is in uh, which is uh, not visible uh, in the previous slide or the lateral view okay this is the anterior superior iliac spine this is the arcuate line this is the superior pubic ramus this is the symphysis surface where the pubic symphysis are made between two hip bones this is the inferior pubic ramus and this is the ischial ramus this is the ischial tuberosity here it is the obturator foramen and there is the ischial spine which is also uh, visible in the last slide and it uh, here you can see here the greater sciatic notch this is the posterior inferior iliac spine and this is the auricular surface because it shapes like uh, air that's why it is called as auricular surface this is the area where it forms the, uh, the the iliac joint or sacroiliac joint which is called as the sacro uh, iliac uh, tuberosity now we will learn about the femur bone so moving uh, next to the femur bone which is the largest strongest and heaviest bone of the body and uh, it is it form normal angle of inclination uh, which is about 125 degrees uh, in uh, male and female there is a variation in uh, male and uh, female uh, in the uh, angle of inclination okay so the, the femur bone uh, bears whole uh, body weight and transfer it to the tibia and then to the feet it form the ball and socket joint like you can see in here okay this is the femur bone next uh, 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 we will uh, uh, learn the basics or the uh, further or the uh, or the uh, we will discuss the, the points of in the femur bone so first this is the anterior side the head of the femur this is the neck of the femur this is the trochanteric uh, fossa the lesser trochanteric uh, lesser trochanter and this is the shaft this is the patellar uh, tr uh, trochlea this is the medial super supracondylar ridge medial epicondyle the medial condyle and the lateral condyle the lateral epicondyle the lateral uh, supracondylar ridge now we will learn about the base the points uh, in the posterior side of the femur this is the greater trochanter which uh, is uh, not shown in the uh, anterior view okay this is the lesser trochanter this is the 
enter trochanter enter request and here you can see that the line here which is called as the pectineal line this is the linea aspera which uh, which is uh, divided uh, inferiorly and superiorly and the superiorly it for it is formed by the pectineal line and inferiorly it forms the popliteal fossa okay so these are the intercondylar fossa the uh, this uh, uh, tuberosity uh, you can see in here is called as a gluteal tuberosity now we will learn about the tibia tibia is the second largest bone of the body as you can see here it bear weight and transfer weight to the feet okay it is uh, it formed the leg and also called as the shin bone so the this the uh, uh, okay now we will discuss about the, the points of the uh, tibia uh, one by one okay this is the tibial eminence the lateral condyle the shaft anterior border sorry in the shaft there is anterior border there is the distal tubo, uh, tubo uh, tibio fibular articular surface the medial malleolus and the anterior surface the uh, tibial tuberosity the medial condyle and the articular surface where the uh, the femur uh, get attached with the uh, tibia and forming the knee joint okay now the fibula fibula is the long thin and uh, and lateral bone of the lower leg it run parallel to the tibia or shin bone okay it play a significant role in stabilizing the ankle and supporting the muscle of the lower limb compared to the tibia the fibula is about the same length but it is considerably thinner an interesting fact about the fibula is that it can be harvested for the tissue graft on to um, other bones in the body the fibula bears so little weights or uh, weight of the body that's why it is typically has more mass uh, the, uh, than indeed uh, than needed in to support the leg and making it possible to uh, a good tissue donor okay so this is the apex of the uh, fibula this is the head this is the neck this is the shaft or posterior border in the uh, shaft there is posterior border it is the body it is the lateral malleolus and this is anterior or frontal border this is the lateral border of the fibula and now we will uh, talk about the foot foot is the uh, region uh, uh, is, is the region of the lower limb distal to the ankle joint so you can see here it is subdivided into tarsus metatarsus and digits uh, the foot has a superior surface which is called as dorsum and anterior surface which is called as sole or plantar surface okay it is having uh, a tarsal tunnel and some other structures the tarsal tunnel is formed on the posterior posterior medial side of the uh, of the ankle by a depression uh, uh, formed by the medial malleolus of the tibia the medial and the posterior surface of the talus and uh, the medial uh, surface of the calcaneus and inferior surface of the sub sustentaculum uh, 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 tali of the calcaneus and overlying flexor retina crolem okay so the contents of the uh, tarsal tunnel you can uh, learn the, the those content which passing through the tarsal tunnel is the uh, this is the actually the tarsal tunnel as you can see here and these are the structures which are passing from the tarsal tunnel so you can learn it by the tiny dogs are not hunters so t for the tibialis posterior muscle b for for the flexor digitorum longus muscle a for the artery which is posterior tibial artery and n for the uh, the nerve uh, which is uh, called as the tibial nerve and h for the hallucis which is flexor hallucis longus muscle okay so uh, the foot is divided into various bones which is various regions which is called as tarsus metatarsus and the phalanges so now we will talk about the tarsus in the tarsus there are several bones with seven bones which is calcaneus the this one is called talus this is navicular this is medial cuneiform the lat intermediate can cuneiform the lateral cuneiform and this one is called as the cuboid okay while we were when we are talking about the phalanges so the phalanges are divided on the basis of proximal phalange 
the intermediate phalange and the in distal phalange okay so this the 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 thumb of the feet is also called as the hallux okay so you can learn these bones by uh, in the mnemonic which is is the tall camel never consume uh, cubes t for talus c for camel for uh, calcaneus and n for navicular consume involve the medial cuneiform lateral cuneiform and intermediate cuneiform and cubes involve the cuboid bone